and welcome to another edition of WarMastery.co.uk. Thank you! My name is... Uh, you're John Lightfoot. Thank you. And I am... John Murphy! Oh, well done. <laughs> we're getting really good at this. Yeah, really yeah, good. Yeah. We've got this coming. Yeah, another two years and we'll be spawned. We're there, we're there, we're there. We're there. So, we're here to tell you all about wine and hopefully <coughs> help you find the wine, if not the wines you will absolutely love. So, in this episode, we're talking about white wines. All of the white wines come from that we're talking about in this episode come from Spain. Yes. And uh, the John suggestions that if on that hot evening you can't, you're, not, you're a red wine drinker normally, but you fancy something a little bit lighter but, but quite intense in taste, try these, apart from part one. <laughs> I made one mistake. And one mistake, and he's been hung for it. Already. I'll pay the price for that, yeah. <laughs> so, part two. What are we going for, part two? Part two. Now, this one, the, the part one was the Viola and the Chardonnay grape blend, which I expected big things from. For, um, as I said, we are looking at this um, this kind of uh, a more powerful white wine for the folk who like the red wine, but obviously with the summer warm months, you're looking for something that's got a similar kind of power um, to the red wine, but without it being too over the top. So I thought the Spanish wines would be a perfect one to go for. Number one wasn't uh, the best for what we were looking for. A good wine in its own right, but not what we're looking for. So number two, we've gone for Finca Antigua, which is another Spanish wine, but it's, uh, it's just using the Viola grape on its own. Okay. Um, that's for you, sir. And is this, did, when, just before, when you opened the bottle, you were talking about it being on the lees? Yeah, the, the, which can make a massive difference. On, on the lees, which I may have explained uh, a few videos ago, uh, basically means when you're making the, the when the winemaker's making the wine, basically they squeeze the grape and the grape juice comes out and then they do whatever they're going to do with the skins. But with this one, uh, on the lees or surly, means leave the grape skin and the juice together. Uh, for a short amount of time. I mean, this has been left on for five months. And what you get from that is it imparts a little bit more flavour. So, in general, you don't get quite a sharp wine, a more rounded wine, and a, again, a more kind of full bodied white wine, which is what we are looking for. Okay. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. I'm sure. It's, I'm sure. <laughs> well, this is how we go. Right. So, it's deeper colour for sure. Much deeper colour, isn't it? It has more, more kind of gold and uh, more strawy gold. Yep. Or hair. Did you see hair? Or straw. Hey ho. Either. <laughs> either way, either way. So it look it looks and it, lo it still looks nice and uh, clean. Yeah. And bright. And bright. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Oh yeah, there's a lot of difference. Yeah, that is yeah, yeah. yeah that's um Wow, yeah. This is more uh, well from that. Yeah. Wow. I think I'm pretty sure. From the nose, that that must have seen some oak as well. It must have because that this, that power of mm, I, I love a little bit touched my lip then, so I'm gonna have to oh, drink. I'm gonna have to drink. Right. So I am. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. A lot more to that. Yeah, that's more. That's more what I was looking for. Now, mm. I can't get. It's kind of. It has that. For me, I would go along those kind of melanie, melanie. nice round and melanie. Yeah. Again, the acidity isn't too powerful. Nice, nice big flavour in your mouth, kind of get, gets right in there. Teeth, teeth coating as well. I'm saying, really. Yeah. You have the, mm, I'm having a good lick in there. It makes you want to get, go in there and find out a lot more flavours. Mm. Again, the acidity isn't too keen. But nice, but it's making it's making me lick my lips. It's, a, it's got it, mm, it's got that nice power going on there. It actually has like a for me almost I like get a little almondy flavour in there as well. Almondy, almondy, yeah. For me, for me. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say something. <laughs> <laughs> for me, so. I can sort of taste a little bit of apricot, and it, it there's a sort of, uh, it makes me think of Chardonnay, not Chardonnay, but there's a, a sort of resemblance to Chardonnay. Well, more, more than likely to be, I know you're coming from the apricot then, yeah, yeah, but uh, the Chardonnay style you're looking at, I think you're uh, associated with the kind of that um, oakiness. Okay. Because that is, uh, okay. 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 But yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, 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 okay. But yeah, I think that's that's what you and I would totally agree with you on that. That is quite unusual, considering the one what you had that did have Shad name. Yeah. I couldn't I couldn't really tell Shad I couldn't make Shad now from that. Yeah. But, no, but this is more akin to what we were looking for. You, you folk that are drinking that red wine just want something a little bit more, but without being too heavy. This is what I'd recommend. This has definitely got that kind of a everything going on about it. Now, even. Mm. Yeah, I could, I could happily drink that because it's, it's, it's suitable for a nice warm um, or hot sunny day. Yeah. But not too over the top. No. no. I could, I could fairly enjoy that. So could I. What would you eat with this? Oh, you are looking more. Hmm. You get, you got a bit more. I'd probably put it with some kind of tomato dish. Okay. Yeah, to get that acidity, the acidity of the two then, because then that little acidity in there would probably completely disappear, and then you'd be able to pull the ice out of that apricot and the almond out then. Okay. I would go for. So beans on toast. <laughs> got tomato sauce. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not <clears throat> yeah. Well, there's nothing wrong with it. No. I might, no, I might take it, I might try it, but yeah. That's very okay. nice, it's very nice. It's got a sort of Spanish smell, if you know what I mean. It, it, it identifies sort of Spanish. <coughs> I think you can do it with a, with a fair few wines, and I know exactly what you mean. Yeah. And what would you... Stop it. <laughs> this is, obviously. So, price-wise, John, where, where would you uh, sit that? Okay, well, I think there's a lot more to it, and as we know, that the cost of a bottle per, if you put it into a, a barrel, it costs about three euros okay. per, per bottle. Um, works out, the cost of a barrel. So um, I'm gonna say that's gonna be more expensive. I'm gonna add the three euros, which is roughly around uh, just over two pounds. Um, used, the other one was 9.99, the first one, yes? Yeah. So I'm going to add the two quid, and I'm going to say eleven ninety nine. Oh, you are so it's twelve ninety nine. Is it? But that is I just love the workings out. <laughs> You're going to have to teach me how to do that. But yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, twelve ninety nine. That's sure. really good. Well done. Well, well, well done. Oh, it's still about seven percent out. Oh, for goodness sake! <laughs> he's, he's always going to have that joke. No, that is actually very, very good. I'm, I'm very impressed. With you. Thank you. Mm. It's delicious. It. Yeah, it's delicious. And well, I think worth every bit of that twelve ninety nine then. I would happily drink that on a nice summer's day. Just got a little bit more than some of these wishy-washy whites. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Actually, I mean, I, I like red and white, so I'd happily drink that on a winter's day. Okay. Come to that a spring or an autumn day. But <laughs> any, a day. <laughs> a day, yeah. Wow, well, and I wouldn't knock you for it, that's delicious. Yeah. Excellent. It must be delicious because I've drunk it all up without even thinking I'm, I want to drink that. It's gone. Yeah. It's gone. Yeah. So you're not going to be able to say, Chin chin with something in your glass. No. Oh, blow. Chin chin. Chin chin. See you in part three. Ciao.